Okay, video here for Grandad is an old man. He was asking about the remote actuators that I got on this X-Wing that showed the other day. And uh, I thought, well, huh, I'll not rip all the parts off just yet. I'll do this video. The bits are going onto that Hawker Demon over there. So uh, we've got it powered up. And if I go left and right, and if you watch this uh, actuator, you can see how it moves to the left and right. And also how the surface moves. So... How do you make one of those? Right, well the first thing is to get a straw. I've got one of this uh, McDonald's type, you know, the larger type of straws. And then I put a little disc of plastic near to the end and a wind 450 turns of about 40 gauge wire onto that using white glue as I go. So where does the wire come from? Well, what we've got here is a bobbin of the wire on a screwdriver, a little screwdriver. And that enables me to pull this along and uh, the thing will turn around as a, as a wind and the wire comes from a relay so 120 volt to 12 volts or 240 volts in the UK to 12 volts um, and I get them from old CRT monitor circuit boards there's one of them right there they're on the power input section as you might expect but uh, they're the thing that used to go click when you turn your monitor on and um, inside are these really good spools of wire so 450 turns will give you uh, about 50 ohms of resistance and that's just about in line with the it can fly or plan traco types which these are modeled on. So here is one that's done and I leave the, um, the bit of straw on the end on the inside because that gives good protection to the coil. Next thing I do is I get a cotton earboard, one of the ones with the holes through the middle, uh, cut off two tiny little pieces I put them either side, stick them with super glue, and then what I do is I get a pin and three pieces of like slice type magnets. Um, one piece will do, you just super glue it on, or the three pieces actually, the middle one uh, is where the um, pin will be attracted to. Simply enough, I uh, just glue it like that, it sticks on it anyway. Uh, so then, what you've got then is you've got your pin going through the middle, and you've got your three pieces of magnet underneath. To complicate things a little, you don't need to do this, but I've got a tiny little piece of magnet on the end in the middle, and uh, such that if I do that, you can see it returns, it centers itself. So that's kind of a useful little thing just by adding the magnet on the side. Uh, so next thing I do is to add the little horn type thing on the top for the Z band to connect into. That comes from a servo, you just chop off a little bit of plastic there to get one of the holes, a little bit of plastic uh, can then be glued itself onto the middle and that's at 90 degrees to the direction of the pin. Uh, that pretty much covers it, that's it done then and then I generally have got these little uh, <laughs> little wings here, little surfaces um, and I'll test it by uh, connecting up with one of these pieces of carbon fibre with bits of um, either a shrink tube you can use or really wire I guess, you can get um, you know, wire off the old boards as well and some of them, the uh, these carbon rods will, will slide into quite well and you can adjust the lengths and things. But that's how to make one of these remote actuators. Uh, hopefully that's been of some use and thanks for watching.